the general term or the rth term of the given series let's denote it by ur is equal to 1 upon r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 now multiply and divide by 2 and this can be expressed as r plus 2 minus r in the numerator divided by 2r times r plus 1 times r plus 2. This is equal to half of in brackets r plus 2 divided by r times r plus 1 times r plus 2 minus r divided by r times r plus 1 times r plus 2. R plus 2 cancels across the numerator and the denominator in the first term and R cancels in the second term and therefore UR is equal to half of in brackets 1 upon R times R plus 1 minus 1 upon R plus 1 times R plus 2. Now put R is equal to 1, we get the first term of the series U1 equal to half of in brackets 1 upon 1 times 2 minus 1 upon 2 times 3. Put R is equal to 2. We get U2 equal to half of in brackets 1 upon 2 times 3 minus 1 upon 3 times 4. Put R is equal to 3. We get U3 equal to half of 1 upon 3 times 4 minus 1 upon 4 times 5. And so on. Put R is equal to N, we get UN equal to half of in brackets 1 upon N times N plus 1 minus 1 upon N plus 1 times N plus 2. Now we add all of these equations. On the left hand side, we get the sum of the first N terms of the given series. Let's denote it by SN. And on the right hand side, note that alternate terms cancel. And we are left with only two terms on the right hand side, which is therefore equal to half of, in brackets, 1 upon 1 times 2 minus 1 upon n plus 1 times n plus 2. This is equal to 1 upon 4 times n plus 1 times n plus 2, multiplied by, in brackets, n plus 1 times n plus 2 minus 2. And this is equal to n square plus 3n plus 2 minus 2 divided by 4 times n plus 1 times n plus 2. 2 cancels in the numerator and therefore sn is equal to n times n plus 3 divided by 4 times n plus 1 times n plus 2. And this is the required answer.